basically we get the whole head here. It's like really good. We get like that design there. And the helmet, which I feel is just like the best part. Twice the size. And you get that signal. But anyways, we'll go more over that when we do the Gladiator Hulk review. Um, but here's the Thor. And one, some, I'm going to go over some nitpicks first. Um, number one. We, I'm so excited we get this. Now let's go over articulation. Going over articulation with uh, the cape on. So basically, I'll uh, start from the head. So we can look up, oh, geez, <laughs> that always happens. All right, he can look up about that much, look down that much, side to side head rotation. Uh, his arm can move up this much and open both this much um he does have an ab crunch that goes this far back without breaking the cape and not so far forward he can kick out not too far on this leg but on this leg it's a little better he can kick back not at all on um, he has a uh a swivel there uh sorry arms i forgot uh he had double giant elbows swivel there I think he has wrist hinge. Yeah, I see the joint. I just can't get it right now. And a swivel at the wrist. Uh, then he has ankle pivot and there, there. That's it for articulation. Now going over the detail of this figure, I really like it. So basically we get this nice like blue and silver helmet. It looks really nice with like instead of the wings, they had like the spikes that in the trailer he like hit them down. Um, yeah, we get this nice Chris Hemworth face with the nice, uh, Braveheart type stripes. Um, we get this nice, like, gladiator armor and everything. The nice, again, all the red paint. He has a, like, ripped cape here, which looks really good. And he has, like, his brown pants and everything. And the armor there. That's it for detail. Alright, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, this piece comes off. Um, yeah. Here's some size comparisons with Thor, and even without the spikes coming out of his helmet, I feel like Marvel Legends' new style is tall figures, because, like, Star-Lord is about six and a half here, just about, right? Yeah. So he's like the average size, and Thor's still taller than him. Of course, Thor towers Spider-Man because he's a little kid. And our average review, uh, here's Deadpool. He's like, well, about the same. No, actually, he's a Star-Lord size, so Thor's still bigger. Um, yeah, Thor's about like seven inches tall, so he's like really big. That's it for size for me. Overall review, he is like so good, and I feel really like embarrassed saying this, but this is my first uh, six-inch Thor figure. Like I never got any Age of Ultron one, any Avenger one, and I feel ashamed of it because this is such a good figure. I mean, it's really.
really good. Like, definitely pick it up. Um, I feel like they should have had a removable helmet, but, you know, that's okay. Overall, I'll give him, a, like, a 9 out of 10. He was really good. So, action figure jump squad.